Hello, Bitwig certified end user and professional DJ, Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to my Bitwig Studio 2.3 course. Before we get started, I just want to say if it's the first time you're visiting the Martini Lounge channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and we'll see you inside. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our drum machine in. We picked a preset. We've got a Deep House Kit 2, I believe it was. And we've got all that set up. So now I want to draw in or put in some MIDI notes within a clip to allow uh, a pattern to develop for our drums. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, Arrange view. And I will select this guy up here like we've learned before. And we'll open up some clips. And then we'll get rid of the Arrange view and I'll get rid of the browser panel and the inspector panel. So now we've just got this guy to look at. So what I want to do now is go ahead and select this area by double clicking. And that's going to insert an empty clip. So if I click that one more time, I double click that one more time. So I double clicked it, inserted it. I double click it again once it's inserted and I get this screen down here. Now I'm going to raise this up a little bit so that you can see all the sounds within our drum machine that are available to us are listed right here by name. So now we can see our kick, our snare, our hat, and all our different percussion sounds that have been added. And the reason I can see these names is because I have these squares, this um, symbol here selected. If you select this guy, it's your keyboard uh, editor or keyboard panel which we'll look at a little bit more in more detail further down the, uh, the course here. But for now, we're just going to look at the sounds of the drums. So currently, if you see how this is laid out, it's a one bar loop. So one, two, three, four, and then it loops back to the front. So what I can do is if I deactivate the loop, I can have a start and stop point become active. So now that's the end point and that's the start point. Put the loop back on and then the loop will cycle through there. And the start point stays active, but the end point gets deactivated because it's now set to loop back. So we're going to leave the loop on there. Um, and you can see as I hover my mouse, I'll go slow here for you. See how the line just kind of locks in or snaps to the next um, segment there. Let me zoom that back out so you can see the numbers and move the uh, inspector panel a little bit. So what's happening there is it's 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 snapping to what's called the grid. And that's This is the grid and it's doing it in 130 second notes and we can change that right here. You can see that it's 130 second. If I click here, it's going to give me additional options. And right here, we've got the 130 second. If I just click that and hold my mouse down and drag up and down, I can change those values. And then you can see the grid change accordingly. So we're going to go with 116 uh, straight. And I'll zoom this guy back a little bit so that we can see what we've got. That's pretty good. All right, so now I want to put some notes in here. And we've got a kick in all our different names available. and without going into too much about track arrangement or music uh, theory or anything like that, typically in dance or club sounds or, you know, deep house or whatever, uh, you want to go with four kicks. So one kick on the one, one kick on the two, kick on the three, and a kick on the four, and then it loops back. So I can just take this square or this area and double click it, and it inserts a note right there for me. Now, I can also choose, I just highlighted it and hit delete, this um, arrow tool right here, or this pointer tool to select different tools. And you can see the keyboard shortcut one, two, three, four, and five listed here. So keyboard shortcuts, if you want to just switch back and forth real quick between your tools. If I choose the pen tool, then I don't have to double click these slots. I can kind of just freely click wherever I want to insert my notes. So I'm going to click once there, once here, once there, and once there. So there's four kick drums. Let me go ahead and play this. And 
and you can see now that we've got our kick drum in a very basic kind of four on the floor pattern as they refer to it. So let's go ahead and add on the two and four, let's add some snares. So it looks like this guy right here is a snare. So now we've got the kick and snare. Let's see, is there, a, is there a clap listed in here for us anywhere? One of the ways I can find out if I'm not 100% sure is I can just click the little speaker to audition the sound. And it's a clap for us. So I'll go back to the pen tool by using my shortcut three on my keyboard. Yeah, so a very basic groove uh, by adding some notes into our um, clip here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next video and look at how we can do this, maybe uh, recording these notes in live as opposed to manually inserting them. So, all right, I'll see you on the next video.